Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. It's an early morning for me, yeah, lazy. The sun is not even out. It's still dark. It's, uh, I plugged my phone in out there. I think it's still like 7, not even 7 o'clock yet. Not here anyway. In the Peterborough area, 6.46. It's 646 right now. Here, the time I'm recording it. Welcome, it's me, Wingish Name Bay, Majeki Quay. Your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass, water, medicine woman. Also, Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome. All you beautiful divine beings right here, too. How goes it with you on this free flowing Friday? Mmm. How's your week then? What's in yesterday? I had a tough, tough day yesterday. Therapy Thursday still. <laughs> two, two appointments. Two therapy appointments. The moon. We just had a full moon. Look at that thing just popped out there. Where we show that color? There, look at that. Shine a light on that, huh? The moon. Ooh, right? Full moon. It's three days. So I mean, this would be the last day of the full moon. And it starts to go into its waning. Starts to go into the waning period, eh? full moon, release, full moon ceremonies. Maybe if I light a candle up there, that'll help too, eh? She can't see up there. Let's call in all of our directions. <sighs> Calling in all of our energy from the east, path of illumination and clarity, place of fire, place of man. Calling back all of our energies from the south. It's the waters, the emotions, the place of childhood and innocence. Calling back all of our energies from the west to earth, physical woman, place of introspection. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the north, the air, the mental, the wisdom years. <sighs> we walked a red road, or earth walk. Oh, we talked about sacrifice on Wednesday, right? To make sacred, make your life sacred hey how can i show you that there uh sacrifice i want to show you it up here but it's all so dark up there i need to light a candle for you up there that's fine right making life sacred right you see there's sometimes as we're learning in children sacrifice it's like no 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 you gotta sacrifice yourself no 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 or else you're selfish whatever that is up into the north the wisdom years where we see you know we're all connected the tree of life we're connected with those Standing people, right? Look at that. I love that. Love that. Let me see. There we go. Tree of life. Can you see it? Oh, no. It's a little dark in there, huh? It's a little dark in there. <laughs> uh -huh. East to west is the blue road. <laughs> Spirit. Ah, oh, there's a child, right? The child is born. We come in through that eastern gate. And we go out through that western gate. What is that? Right, where the innocence of the child, where the child of the divine, where the children of the divine, the children of the earth. Look at that. Human beings, we're all children. East to west, the blue road of spirit, the vision quest, right? And that's where we go to the west, to that vision quest. We go within, right? Do those deep dives within to find that vi vision that's within us. The vision quest to see what is our purpose here on this earth walk of low. And within all of our com common purpose is just to be ourselves fully, holy, and true the way our Creator made us to be. Right? Whatever that is for you. Free flowing Fridays. I don't have my children this weekend. There's lots I need to do figure out this body stuff too. Do any more answers? Now we're going to be referred to a uh, neurologist in, in Toronto. I think I already said that. I think when I watched it back, I said the freaking neurologist. And can, I don't mean it like that. I just mean when I say freaking, it's just the time, the loops you got to go through for things. You know, and if you can't keep on it, when you got so much going on, when you're still living through trauma, you know, it's not past, it's current and on, ongoing. <laughs> I 
and those systems that allow the things to happen. some other things we get to feeling that you know I know I'm not the only one to go through things like that you feel like things are starting to go you're looking forward getting your spirits lifted up and then something comes and pulls that rug out from under you and you're kind of blindsided when you didn't see something coming you're afraid of it, but maybe that's the fear, right? That's that rabbit. We saw a rabbit come up a couple times, right? Calling calling in our fears. And we call them in. Just what you focus on and sometimes it comes out I feel like I don't I don't think I was focused on that, so why did it come about but Everything's always in divine and perfect order, even when it don't feel that way. We don't know, right? It's that, 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 that hindsight. Hindsight's the 2020, right? Hindsight 2020. Oh, you're going to fall over if I move that one. Ah, that's all right, though. But anyways. Moving it anyways. Lighten up the dark side. Oh, is it a little better? I don't want you to see my face fully anyways. <laughs> <coughs> right? This is uh, that place in my head too, right? How many people get off of my tears? <laughs> Some people like to see me like this more than smiling, I guess. I don't know. All right, what are we doing? Real, let's grab one um, mystical shaman oracle. Just one, please. Just one, help us there today. Anybody else, you know, going through this stuff? We're all going through these waves, these transitions. Things are going. Things are growing, right? We have to let things go to move on. We have to let go of that last rung before we can reach for the next, right? We can't, you know, we have to lift up that foot from that back step to bring it forward into that you know, next step, right? We can't. Let's do that. How do we hold ourselves back? Because we can't blame anybody else. It's in ourselves. Did we have expectations? Did we have hopes? Do we hang our happiness on something outside of us? Flowing Friday, what a spirit. Mother Earth, all of our relations, whatever that is for you, they want us to reflect on today from this week. There we go. The moon. So that popped out early. It really does. <laughs> this has got to be the moon. <laughs> oh, let's see. That's moon over here. Of this light. Illuminating that up. Shining on the moon, the light shining on the moon. Uh, okay. I'm gonna bed we get here. Ow. Ow. Oh. Now oh. oh, you see it better up here, can you? There we go. The moon. What's the number on that? See that? 37. 37, 10. Okay. What is that to say? Ah, oh, soul retrieval. Bringing all parts of ourselves back together. A soul retrieval. Whatever. And the wild woman, right? Of course, that moon, those cycles. We're checking out our cycles. We're coming back in together. We're together all parts of ourselves right we are whole as we are we don't need something or someone outside of us to complete us we're all complete and whole 
just as we are complete whole package coming through the life portal, the womb, the vagina of our mother. What? <laughs> what? Oh, and we go to support that. Right there. The moon. And I don't know what this this one is, but we'll find out. It's going up there with the moon. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. Alrighty then. Along with the moon. Over there. Oh, and that's a cool card too. That's the number four on that one. And this is 21. That would have been... This would be a three, a four, and a five. Oh, we had that one before, right? That's the air witch. Isn't that the one, the air witch? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those, though. So, we have both these books here. Let's read about the moon. What does the oracle thing say about the moon? Oh, I do want to just bring it closer as we're focused on that one. Alright, there we go. There we go. Can you see that all right there? Bringing this to this light too. But I'll help it over here. But I'll help it over here. There we go. Over here. <laughs> oh, swing it. Yeah, the swing it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, excuse me. The moon. The moon, the moon, the moon. What was that number? I said 37 on that. The moon. The essence. Every 28 days, the moon manifests a steady progression from darkness to light, and then back again. This phenomenon in our skies has a powerful impact on our human psyches. It offers us the certainty that after periods of emptiness and darkness, there is a light waiting so we can be reborn into a new phase. This calls to mind a native African prayer to the moon. May our lives be renewed as yours is. The moon also has a strong influence on the ebb and flow of the waters on the earth. This same power, in turn, affects human feelings and emotions and mirrors their rising from or hiding back into the unconscious. The Invitation The moon spends equal time in the dark as it does in the light of the sun. And now it comes to remind you of this balance. Have you been too focused on outer achievements, productivity, or social engagements? Or have you spent too much time hidden from the outer world, not wanting to interact or show your face? Meditate on the significance of the moon's cycles and let it gently guide you out of your bottomless depths. Head back to the world of outer expression and connection with others. Let it help you make time for yourself, your feelings, and your essential human spiritual needs. This card calls you to go on a journey of renewal, just like the moon does every month, so you can get unstuck whether from a specific situation or life in general. For this, you need to make time to be with yourself without distractions of modern society and have the courage to look at the unwanted or unembraced parts of your being until you have arrived at a place of resolution. Shamanic lore explains that the finest treasures of humanity are hidden where people are most afraid to go. And that is within. That is within, right? For that soul retrieval. And look at then soul retrieval comes up. The shamanic wisdom. Because it's that soul retrieval bringing us all together. Whole and one inside. See what is that underneath? 
the Indian cross, the within, afraid to go within deepest parts of ourselves. Soul retrieval is 49 on that number. The essence. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. We are no longer fragmented and are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. If you're still hovering over an old wound, find a new path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. The medicine. When did you compromise what you truly believed in to be loved or accepted by someone? Think back over your life and find the time or times when this happened. Vow to never compromise your integrity again. What have you agreed to in the name of love that you know is deeply wrong? Make it right this instant. A wild woman will go to. Release that wild woman inside of us, no matter what, man, woman, child, whatever. We all got that. It's balancing those energies. And what is that? A 62. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that right? No, that's a 52. I need to go to the 60. Oh, oh my neck is really sore. Oh, my old body. That's fine. It's good. I'll survive. I will survive. The essence. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self. The true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly regardless of the perceived consequences. The invitation. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your long-held dreams is being beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself, and let great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. The medicine, excess for its own sake, is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for release in places that will never provide it. Let go, lest you become like the hungry ghosts of the Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow through, so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. Now is the time to simplify. Be mindful and connect to that light within. 
connect to that light within. We all have it. Where's it in you? I have a connection in me too. We all have that. No exceptions. Okay, let's read this one over her now. What she say? Number 23 is what that's the number on that one. That'd be the number on that one in number 23. In the moon woman. Moon woman cards. The, there we go, the water witch emotions. The emotions. The water witch number 23. You are the liquid of life, transparent, translucent as crystal. You are the tides, high and low. You are the flow of knowledge from the great depths and pour everything upon the waves. You nurture all living beings and quench all thirst. Give life to the heart of the world. Quiet and roaring wild, you contain, wash, and renew. Send roots into the earth, growing strong in your mysterious ways. Great healer that you are. You are a missionary of Grandmother Moon devoted to carrying forth her lunar messages. Ooh, water witch up here with the moon. Oh, yes, right. And then we have, we did the bottom part first, didn't we? We have this one, the number four is what, which is that? Number four is birth. We're being reborn. We're having the rebirth right now. This is the stage at which the soul releases mother womb and chooses its way to be born into the realms of planet Earth. At this stage, both courage and union between mother and fetus are necessary in order for baby to come out into the world through the gates of a, of a, womb's, of a woman's womb. This is a narrow gate that can widen with the deep and focused desire for new life, for a new journey, a new incarnation. This is a new chance for the soul to learn by making a choice and taking responsibility. This is the signing of a new contract. What is that coming up in your life? What What's showing up there for you? What pops into your mind about that? It's all about your life too. Focus within, within, within. And this one is the air witch. The air witch. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Listen to the beat of your heart. Sing with the fullness of your voice. Give way to the sweet sounds it beholds. Spread your wings. Allow your feathers to dance in the wind. Release your magic beyond the stars, up amongst the vast open spaces, with the weightless movement of the wind's changing currents. In soft flight, a bird's beak. Holy smoke rising from within your hands hold. You are air. The direction is east. The archetype is the baby. The color is yellow. The animal is eagle. The chakra is the third eye and solar plexus. Wow, there's our Friday reading. So in touch with that woman side of yourself, those emotions. Feeling Fridays. We're feeling it. We're feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Feeling, we're feeling it. Let your feelings flow. Let your feelings show. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wrap your arms around that little one. Inside. Let him or her cry if that needs to happen. It's a matter, let it flow. Be you. 
Bring your whole self together. Don't reject any parts of yourself. Allow those feelings to flow out. You ain't, you're not stuck. We get stuck when we don't want to release those, when we don't want to feel those, when we try to hide. And you know what? There is times that, well, maybe we can't show them to everybody because there is those ones that want to take advantage of that. You know, like I say, there's some people that are getting, yeah, and they are, but that's not going to stop me to keep putting myself out there. But, you know. Uh, uh, and being human here too, and you know, honoring everything that I'm feeling, letting things flow and letting it go and trying not to stop anything. So look at that for you. Have fun this weekend, you know, release, don't resist anything, find yourself together, pull yourself together, man, or woman, whatever, no matter. Okay. Wonderful weekend. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you, shining your light through in everything you do, because you know what this world really needs you now more than ever to be you, fully holy and true, or else that world misses out on the gift that is you. Thank you for being you. Please stay. Love yous, love yous, love yous. Wonderful, blessed day and week. Empower, not overpower. Thank you. Thank you. And stop. I love you. <laughs>